Well, obviously, no snow here for us back in Birmingham. Here's a live look over Highway 280 from Grandview Medical Center. It was a beautifully, gloriously warm, not sweater weather, but rather sweating weather, it felt like. On that note, let's check back in with meteorologist Alex Puckett. Alex, what can we expect as we head into the work week? More spring-like weather. That means a few things for us. It means warm weather and it means storms and spring seems to have sprung early for much of the southern and eastern United States. This is the spring leaf index anomaly. So what we're looking at here is that first spring growth. How quickly we saw it. It was six to 12 days earlier than average in Birmingham, closer to 15 to 20 days earlier in places like Dallas and St. Louis. And once you got towards Lexington uh, and uh, much of Appalachia here, southern Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, up to Washington, D.C. in the mid-Atlantic, nearly a month earlier than average, we started to see some of that spring growth. But look, this is a season of change, and that means we will see more pattern flips. And in fact, look here, March 11th, 24th, this is the week three and four outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. Much of the United States projected to be in below average temperatures. We will see another cold snap or two before this spring is done. It's just the way things go around here. But the next several days, temperatures above average. Average high is 62. We'll be 15 degrees above that on Wednesday, getting a little closer to average as we had into Friday and Saturday. The temperature roller coaster dropping down there behind a cold front, but with changes like that, you can expect some rain. Our first chance of rain coming tomorrow. This will be a weak cold front that brings us a few scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, dry Tuesday, maybe a few showers by Wednesday evening, but then a more substantial round of rain Thursday into Friday. That will be a more potent system, but let's talk about the overall rain one to two inches. We'll put a plus on the end of that for much of central Alabama from Highway 278 north closer to two to three inches. Again, a plus there. There could be some isolated spots that get some heavier rainfall than that. Generally, South Alabama on the drier side with many spots with less than a half inch of rain over the next seven days. Now that first round of rain for us in Alabama comes Monday. Cold front pushing in from the northwest. Some scattered showers and storms with this. No severe weather expected, but I will point out it's going to be a windy day. Wind gusts, despite some of us missing out on rain entirely, will be between 35, 40 miles an hour, maybe some spots further north like Coleman getting gusts closer to 40 to 45. But as we head into Thursday night and Friday, this is the big system. Upper levels of the atmosphere, big dip in the jet stream here, trough, those bright colors there, basically muscle lift to get storms developing. Once those storms develop, they'll have some ingredients to tap into to become severe. Strong, low-level jet stream. These are the winds about a mile, mile and a half above our heads. And these are some pretty intense numbers here, approaching 100 miles an hour. Some of that wind energy could be mixed down to the surface, and that wind energy will also create some spin. We'll also have some unstable air for thunderstorms to tap into as they push east. Again, this will be a late night event, but some spots seeing those instability values climbing up closer to, say, 1,000 joules, that will be plenty to support at least some strong to severe storms. So we're pretty much checking everything on the checklist here for the potential for some severe storms as we head into Friday. So we expect a line of storms early Friday morning. Some of those could be strong to severe late Thursday night, Friday morning, the time frame for that, then cooler and drier as we head into the weekend. Laura.